So yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you first what do you get when purchasing a new simmer board and second how to set up your board for the first time. So as you can see we have got one brand new board, one board that's been used one time. This is basically just unpacked. Uh, basically what you get, obviously super high technology board, all the amazing shape, but we're going to leave that for another video. Today what we're going to speak is really what do you get. So what comes with the board? So basically you, you get four fins, you've got the option as a twin, a thruster and a quad. It comes sent with a quad. This is the 72 liter flywave that comes uh, with 9.5 front fins and 13 point back fins. So you've got this setup, okay? You could obviously change it, have some other fins in it, use it as we said as a thruster, as a quad. Oh, well, it comes as a quad, as a twin fin. It's up to you, okay? But it comes sent as a quad. And then we've got three high quality foot straps. They're really, really nice and comfortable. Actually, one thing I really enjoy about the foot straps is they come with double holes. So we've got double holes on all the foot straps. So the foot straps never twist and it doesn't get loose really easy. So it's really, really good on this side, okay? We obviously got all the screws that come with it, okay? And we've got a multi-tool, really nice uh, multi-tool, super, you know, you, you feel like you have a proper tool in the hand. They work both for putting on the foot straps as well as the fins, okay? Now, how do you set up your board for your first use, okay? It will obviously depend a bit on your experience on having boards and all that stuff. It also going to depend a lot on uh, your weight and your how tall you are okay me as a medium-sized rider I would always suggest basically going middle for everything okay uh, you have got three options for the screws I go in the middle one and I go in the middle one okay obviously if you're really tall you probably want to stretch it out from the beginning and go further to the front and f more to the back on the back foot strap okay but for a middle range rider I would start off with this one and then you can always play around moving all your foot straps to the front, moving them further, further to the back. On one side you will gain more control, on the other one you maybe be more radical. Just, you can play with that uh, further along. But for the first use, I always suggest to go middle, middle. The same we can say for the mass foot. We can put that one kind of in the middle, okay? Sorry, there's a truck. So we can put this one right in the middle. Uh, you will get a bit more lift, a bit more radical if you go further back a bit more control if you go further to the front. But as a first point, I really suggest going just in the middle. And then from there on, you move on, you do small changes to one thing to the other one. For the fins as well, I've got, as you can see, kind of the same space we've got in the front than we've got in the back. So we set up everything in the middle of the boxes. Um, obviously, if you want to have a bit more drive, you can separate the fins more. But just as a first impression, first session on the water, uh, you can't go very wrong putting everything in the middle and be on the safe side. And then afterwards, you can start to experiment and see what setup uh, gives you the, the most joy, basically. I, I really enjoyed this one. And from there on, you can, you can change it also depending on the conditions, if you have got really big waves or small waves or whatever. So yeah, basically that's it. If you have any more questions, just uh, drop a comment, I will answer it, or you can contact uh, the guys at SimmerStyle, they're super, super helpful, and I'm sure we can help you out. So yeah guys, I hope to see you on the water. 